Okay, this is gonna be fun. Um, here's a here's a hive that has a feeder rim on it, and a little, a little bit of comb. The bees are building a little bit of comb, hanging off the top of that inner cover, which uh, makes me think that uh, they might. Uh, I need to remove this inner cover because. They're doing so well that they're going to start filling in that space and it's starting to warm up. So let's just see if they're building comb, burr comb, I call it. Here we go. Let's just see if there's comb underneath the inner cover. If they're filling in all this space that's been left over by the feeder rim. Woo! So I gave them the sugar brick, I don't know, a long time ago now. Oh, but look, you can see that that's comb. And there's comb and there's comb. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this sugar brick. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the, the, the brick and the feeder rim. Boy, lots of bees in there. Looking good. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This is gonna be the tricky part here. Let's just see. That's a lot of, let's see if we can see anything here. I'll look at this later if it's not coming out on the, in the camera. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm testing out these black gloves today. They're, I think they're called nitrile gloves. Thank you for Mark for showing me, showing me these gloves. I think they're good. So far so good. I can feel the bees through these gloves. Anyway, who cares. Uh, let's scrape off this comb. So there's, this is what's burr comb and I don't know if the camera's picking it up at all. So I'm scraping off the burr comb because the bees are filling the space between. There's no eggs in it but the, be the bees have enough resources that they're, they're building comb and filling in the space. Here we go. There's a little bit of sugar and I'm just putting these bit of comb down by the, the bottom entrance for now and the bees will just crawl back into the hive. Okay, I got one bee tried to sting me on a glove but didn't get through the glove so that's, that's good. I can still feel the bees but the stingers aren't making it through. That's a good, that's a good shot of bees. I like it, I like it, I like it. And I know people like to say, oh, stings are just a part of the job. Oh, look, I got a, look at this, bye. Huh. A drone. That's, that's, that's pretty, I wonder how long that guy's been around. So, I would guess that they were just sort of ch chowing on that honey, and then that sugar. It's hard to say, I'll, I'll, when I see the bottom board, board later on, I'll see if the, all that sugar's just been tossed to the bottom. So, inner cover is back on, but the, the rim is gone. So, <clears throat> let's put the rim back on. Whoop. Yeah, they're a little bit, these bees are a little bit um, buddy, head button. But, uh, not too bad. So here we go. Now, why did I put that rim back on over the inner cover? First of all, it's just a nice place to hang out if you're a bee. You know, just get away from the get away from the rat race. Chill out. Relax. But here we go. Powdered pollen. Pollen mm -hmm. substitute. Boop -a -doo. I'm gonna put it all over the <laughs> all over the bees. There you go. And then they're gonna clean that stuff off them and they're gonna go, oh, this is pollen. It's almost pollen pretty much pollen. It's 29% protein, which is what they need to make baby bees. So let's see what they do with it. Can't hurt. And that's it. I'm going to put top on now. Call it done. And there's all the comb, the burr comb from underneath the uh, inner cover that I scraped off. And we're done. Ta-da! Beekeeping.
Okay, this is gonna be fun. Um, here's a here's a hive that has a feeder rim on it, and they've been doing well. It's been a good they've been good bees. This beehive uh, uh, contains a colony of bees that uh, was started from a queen that mated and was created in this yard. Whoops! And uh, if you look down here, I don't know, let's just see if I can zoom in on it. Slow zoom, probably can't see it. But there's a little bit of comb. The bees are building a little bit of comb hanging off the top of that inner cover. Which uh, makes me think that uh, they might, uh, I need to remove this inner cover because they're doing so well that they're going to start filling in that space and it's starting to warm up. So let's just see if they're building comb. Burr comb, I call it. I'm not using any smoke. And I'm not wearing gloves. And let's just hope they're in a good mood. I think they're in a good mood. Here we go. Let's just see if there's comb underneath the inner cover. If they're filling in all this space that's been left over by the feeder rim. Woo! Wow. They're starting to. They're looking good though, gotta say. Look at that. So I gave them the sugar brick, I don't know, a long time ago now. Oh, but look, you can see that, that's comb. And there's comb, and there's comb. So, I think I'm gonna get rid of the sugar brick. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the, the, the brick and the feeder rim. And let's do it quick because it's gonna get cold soon. But I don't, they're eating that sugar, it looks like it. But uh, I can give them food some other way. Oh crap. So I'll put this camera right here. Ooh, let's see, is there any queen there? Look at them, look at them go. I bet you there's, there, there could be uh, drone eggs in that curl comb that they're building. But anyway, looking good. Let me just, I'm just checking to see if the queen is here. And I don't think these bees are trying to sting me. So that's good. So let me just, I'll just put this camera right here for a second while I put on some gloves. Because they might sting me. This does have the potential to get a little tangly because I'm going to be scraping comb and removing a big sugar brick and they might not be happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I really uh -huh. should have a, a bit of a spray or something. A spray mist would be nice, would work really well. Okay, here goes the rim. Boy, lots of bees in there, looking good, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This is gonna be the tricky part here. Let's just see. Let's get the other a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But it's good though that they're, they're that's a lot of, let's see if we can see anything here. I'll look at this later if it's not coming out in the, in the camera. I can't see what I'm doing. It looks like they ate some of it. Oh, they're, I got a few bees that are a bit, they're not stingy, but they're defensive. They're giving me butts. They're butting me. Butting my hands. Oh yeah, look, see? See those bees? I don't know if you saw it, but they just went right through my hand, but they didn't sting it though. That's good. I'm testing out these black gloves today. They're 
I think they're called nitro gloves. Thank you for Mark for showing me showing me these gloves. I think they're good. So far so good. I can feel the bees through these gloves. Anyway, who cares? Uh, let's scrape off this comb. So there's this is what's burr comb, and I don't know if the camera's picking it up at all. <clears throat> so I'm scraping off the burr comb because the bees are filling the space between. There's no eggs in it, <clears throat> but the, be the bees have enough resources that they're they're building comb and filling in the space. So let's just. This is definitely not coming through on the camera, but here we go. Here we go. There's a little bit of sugar, and I'm just putting these bit of comb down by the the bottom entrance for now, and the bees will just crawl back into the hive. Gotta say they're nice bees right now. They're, they're not stinging me, they're, they're butting my hand, but they're not, like when they really want to get you, they get you. They don't just give you, they don't give you a warning shot, they just get you. And these bees are, they're defensive, but they're not emat, you know, automatically stinging me. So, I like that, that's a nice behavior. I might, uh, might have to breed off of this queen. I'm just scraping the comb off the inner cover. There we go. Okay, I got one bee tried to sting me on the glove, but didn't get through the glove, so that's that's good. I can still feel the bees, but the stingers aren't making it through. Too bad. Oh yeah, that's great. These are good bees. They're not they're not stingy. They're just they're they're just saying hey, they're giving me warning shots. You know, they're just butting my hands. Anyway, there we go. That's a good that's a good shot of bees. I like it, I like it, I like it. <clears throat> They're not trying to sting me, though I would have gotten a sting if or at least one sting I know if I hadn't had my gloves on. And I know people like to say, oh, stings are just a part of the job. Oh look, I got a look at this bike. Huh. A drone. That's 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 pretty I wonder how long that guy's been around. I have this mesh over the inner cover hole. I'm gonna get rid of it. And I'm going to, oh, well, anyway, I'll, if, I, if they need food, I'll just put it over the inner cover hole. I don't think they need too much food. They, I think they might have eaten some of that sugar. So here's the sugar. That was a standard 12 parts water, I mean 12 parts sugar, one part water, sugar brick, maybe a little bit of a anise extract or lemongrass oil or something. This here stuff here is the, uh, it's not poop, <laughs> it's actually comb and maybe a bit of pollen patty. So I would guess that they were just sort of ch chowing on that honey, on that, on that sugar. It's hard to say. I'll, I'll, when I see the bottom board later on, I'll see if the, all that sugar's just been tossed to the bottom. There we go. This is really nice. No, not a lot of poop inside the hive. There's a bit of the bit of this thing. You can see they they're getting they're digging into it. They did a good job digging into it though. That's good. Like that, take, that costs like you know three dollars, maybe four dollars to make this. You plop it on top of your top bars inside an inner, uh, a feeder rim, and if they need it, they got it. And if they don't, no big deal, no loss, right? And then you can take that shirt. Oh look, here they are. They're uh, they're all. Oh, this is neat. They're all scenting. Really good sign that they're scenting. I see it as a good sign. I love this because. It means that this is just a natural reaction to when, when and there's any kind of disturbance in the hive. They scent so that everyone can find their way home. Look at that, are they ever scenting? 
Let's, I'm going to record some of this in slow motion. This is excellent. Really good instincts in these bees. So, inner cover is back on, but the, the rim is gone. So, <clears throat> let's put the rim back on. Whoop. Yeah, they're a little bit, these bees are a little bit um, buddy, head button. But, uh, not too bad. So here we go. Now, why did I put that rim back on over the inner cover? First of all, it's just a nice place to hang out if you're a bee. You know, just get away from the get away from the rat race. Chill out. Relax. But here we go. Powdered pollen. Pollen yeah. substitute. I'm gonna put it all over the <laughs> all over the bees. There you go. And then they're gonna clean that stuff off them and then they're gonna go, oh, this is pollen. It's almost pollen. Pretty much pollen. It's 29% protein, which is what they need to make baby bees. So let's see what they do with it. Can't hurt. And that's it. I'm gonna put top on now. Call it done. Whoops. I just realized I didn't need to put on that rim. I just had to put the ventilation rim back on, which I just did. Does the same thing. So call this fake pollen, pollen substitute. Maybe they'll they'll use it, maybe they won't. But just a little sprinkle. Doesn't hurt them. And you can see some of them are already starting to you know, put it on their, their, uh, their bee baskets, like this one right here. Smack in the middle. Is this recording? Yeah, it's recording. Yeah. So, okay. So, it's a little bit of a slight disruption, but you know, generally they're chilled out. Chilled out entertainers. And they're doing good. Hold on now. Is this? Oh, that's not a hole, but I can take this thing and go. Where is it? I can take this and go whoop. Pull out this bit of insulation. Whoop! There we go. And now they got another hole in case they need it. And there's all the comb, the burr comb from underneath the uh, inner cover that I scraped off. There's the there's the rim, the feeder rim that I got rid of. I'll just put this right here so the bees can find their way back in. And we're done. Ta-da! Beekeeping. Well, some bees still digging into this. So I'll just put that down there too. Oh, they're still digging in. So, there we go. And they'll just find their way back into the hive. And uh, I don't know if they needed that sugar, but I have some. Do, 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 do. Some leftover liquid honey that I can give them for food, and I'm gonna do that. <sighs> That's enough beekeeping for today. Oh crap, look at this. I left this hive. <laughs> I put this jar of honey on this hive earlier, and I forgot to put the top back on. Oh, because there were bees all over the place. So I left, I waited for the bees to get out of the way. Get out of the way, buddy. I had them, there's a little bit of sugar I gave them too, just to hold them over. You know, and all that sugar, it's not as uh, as good as honey, but it's better than letting your bees die. And um, and I give them honey when I can give them honey, but sugar's cheap and easy. Right now I don't see too many of the bees going for this dry powder. Um, but it might be just too, too cold right now for them to really get into that, I don't know. There's a reason. I think they also prefer uh, real pollen, if they can find it. And right now we do have some real pollen out with our crocuses. Not a lot, but you know, it's pollen. So these gloves, they're black gloves. I'm thinking black, that can't be good. You know, uh, bees don't respond to black too well. But uh, no, no big deal. And um, I, could, uh, I could feel it almost as good as just bare hands. I probably could have gone barehanded because the bees weren't bopping my hands. They weren't stinging my hands, they were just bopping my hands. But yeah, it didn't hurt because I can still feel really well through the gloves. These ones are medium sized. I think I need a, a larger one because uh, I can tell they're just a little bit too tight. 
but so far so good. Oh look, I have a bunch of bees on my shoulder. Are they, are they trying to sting me? I can't see what I'm, I can't see what they're, if they're stinging or not. Anyway, let's brush them off. And this is the hive pillow that I used over that hive, the inner cover inside the ventilation rim. I gotta say, man, this is this is this is just an old. Well, <laughs> this is just an old uh, inner cover. That's funny. And uh, it's, it's an old pillowcase, and I just filled it up with straw and wood chips, put it over the inner cover, um, the inner cover hole. So there's still ventilation, but still heat being held in, and. Uh, the moisture quilt, or the or the ventilation room, I mean, um, allowed for enough moisture or ventilation for the moisture to leave the bees and keep the hive dry. And I think this worked out perfectly. Um, the only thing I did with this hive that I don't normally do is I wrapped it with the silver bubble wrap, that stuff, which I'm not sure made a difference, but anyway, it's hard to say. Anyway, that's the end of that for today. Um, let's cut to that slow motion shot that I uh, I did earlier with the bees scenting and all that jazz. So, see ya.